Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft and welcome back to another subscriber replays episode. After the last episode, I got sent a lot of replays by you guys. This is one of them. This is Seki in the M24 Chaffee and he sent this amazing game in. So, whenever you're ready, Mr. Seki. Um, I said whenever you're ready. 12 seconds later. Okay, there we go, guys. Seki in the M24 Chaffee. Um, this is the first replay that I got sent in by you guys. And, uh, yeah, after the last one, of course. And this is just an amazing display of... Yeah, I, I just love this replay. Seki is going to do something that is really amazing. And um, you cannot do it every game in World of Tanks. Uh, 9 out of 10 times you would probably die terribly. But this time, it is going to go exactly how Seki probably wants it to be. So let's see what he is going to do. He's going to do some amazing things. He creates a platoon with some players on his team, which is good. But as you can see, the enemy have left a huge gap here in the eastern flank. And Seki makes full use of that. He goes after this crusader here on the hill, on the move, and he tracks him. Well, this crusader is not even... yeah. This guy. <laughs> this crusader, man. Oh my god. That is just an annihilation, really. That that crusader, man. That crusader. And now, Seki can feast on all of the artillery. Because, of course, all the campers here on this hill are down. So, it is time to uh, kill Bert the adventure. With a few shots on the move and a few misses, Seki finally gets it down as we can see. Very nice. And now the M44 on the hill there. Some more shooting on the move because why not? Shooting on the move is balanced, right? Yes, there we go. Shoots him on the move. He avoids the ram from the M44. Amazing stuff. And he takes him down. There's only one artillery left right now. He's not be spotted. There he is. He's on low health. And on the move kill number three. There we go, guys. <laughs> well, that's an easy four kills wrapped up, right? Well, Seki is not done yet. Because now he is flanked pretty much the whole of the enemy team, as we can see. This Churchill, yeah, well, he's done for. <laughs> there we go. Five kills. And already over a thousand damage, which is a really good result for a tier 5 tank. Especially as Seki is not in the best matchup he could ever be in. And now he gets the side of a KV-2, which is just a very big snack. He avoids a shot from the OI. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is just amazing. Look at that. This KV-2 can't do anything about it. He's just waiting to get taken out by Seki there. And there's his top gun. Just like that. 1700 damage. And then this Ohai is, yeah. He can do damage to the UI, of course. If he shoots a flush in the side armor. So that's, of course, where he is going to aim. Going to put some shots in there. Now there's, there's a ridge in the way. And he can't properly see the outline of the OI. So he gets spotted now, he avoids uh, the shot from the OI by getting out of his line of sight. And then, as you can see, the team from Seki is trying to distract the OI. And Seki is going to make full use of that. He's really, uh, yeah, well using the third person into his advantage. He's really looking at where the OI is aiming and all that stuff. Now he sees that the OI is not aiming at him and he's taking him down. He's on low health now and Seki's going to take all the time. I just love that play. He's going to take every time that he has to take down the OI there. Shoot him flush into the side. Just never going to bounce. 2000 damage. 7 kills. It's, uh, I'm just speechless man. So now as we can see a T-34 and a T-37 on the enemy team are still alive. And they've last been spotted on the south end of the map. And Seki is not going to... Waste any time. He's going to get straight into this. Some more shooting on the move. Because why not? And yeah, well. <laughs> and now he's in a pretty big problem as we can see. Because the T-37 is behind him if you look at the map. And he's shooting all the move. And he's hitting all his shots. This is just ridiculous. When RNG is on your side. It can just do some ridiculous stuff. Look at this. He's, he's taking on two opponents at the same time. He bounces multiple shots from the T-37. The T-37 misses. He misses. And now he's only got some premium mounts left. And he 
takes the win now, guys. What the hell was this game? What the hell was this game? <laughs> it's, I'm speechless, man. I have to say that I am really disappointed, guys. I asked you for replays that didn't have to be anything extraordinary and you sent me this. This was just an amazing replay. Seki, thank you so much for sending this in. I love to see how a tactic that 9 of 10 times would not have worked actually worked once in World of Tanks. Just look at those statistics, man. 2,900 damage done, 1,675 base experience. Seki, congratulations on this amazing replay. Don't worry guys, this was not the only replay I got sent in. There are a lot of more awesome replays that I got sent in. So if you can't wait to see those, please stay tuned to the channel. If this video sparked your interest in sending in the replay yourself, I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. That's all for this video. I hope you liked to see this. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.